I don't want it to be too oily. Like, this is very, very oily. If you are new to my channel, my name is Or. Jesus. The way my hands are always ashy is just a mystery to me. The Tatcha Indigo Smoothing Hand Cream. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ohema. Welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hey. We are going to be trying a full face of Say Makeup. I have a full array of products. So let's go ahead and do a full complexion of Say Makeup just so we can see whether or not it's going to work for us, especially for the simple fact that we have oily skin and also with it being winter, I want to go ahead and make sure that my skin is as hydrated and as moisturized, plump and thriving as I possibly can. All the products I will use in today's video will be tagged right here. So definitely click that view products tag. If it's not there, I will link it down below for you to see. Both links are going to be affiliated. So anytime you click it, you're going to be supporting your girl. Thank you. Let's go ahead and jump and do it. First things first, we have the primer and their primer is not called a primer. It's called the Super Glowy Gel. On their site, it just says that you can use one to two pumps apply after your skincare routine. You can also mix it with your foundation. You can wear it by itself. You can wear it as a primer under your foundation or tinted moisturizer. And they said it looks amazing over makeup. I have two shades here, the Sun Glow, which is this one, Star Glow. These are the two primers. I to go in with this one because I feel like it would give me a nice golden look to the skin but this one will give me that silver glow that I'm already, I already have on my face. We're taking sun glow on the right side and star glow on the left side. It feels very cool. It's not oily. The only thing that you're gonna notice is that my skin is a lot glowier on the right side than it is on the left side. The tone of it isn't too crazy. I generally stay away from primers that look like this. You have to try new things every once in a while right hopefully this looks good and we will start using it because we like what our base is looking like i'm very skeptical about going in with the star glow because i'm like what if it doesn't look good silver based gold based and i'm gonna let it sit for about two minutes so that it can dry down and do its thing here we are which side do you prefer do you prefer the silver side or the gold side they both look natural in some angles and they both look unnatural in some angles. So if I'm gonna use something like this on my face as a standalone complexion illuminator, I will definitely need to share it out adding it to my moisturizer. 34 is warm undertones. This is 35 and 35 is neutral tone and it's very fluid. It's a glowy foundation. It's luminous, medium buildable and hydrating. This has 85% skincare. It's 15% weightless pigment and 100% your best skin ever. Okay. The last time I used this, I definitely overused it. So you we're gonna put a pump on the back of the hand. We'll just do some spots on and I have a little left on the back of my hand. So I'm going to use my Sigma Airbrush Kabuki. This is F85 and we're just going to pat it in. It's a very hydrating product. Perfect for winter months. It doesn't feel dry. It doesn't feel tight or sticky. The silver side or the gold side? Like the silver side is feeling more reflective to me. And right here is twitching. Why is the corner of my nose twitching? It's weird. It's a very strange sensation. While I give the base a chance to settle down, let me tell you about these concealers. There are about 16 of these concealer shades the deepest being hb10 this is the deepest one and this is the second deepest shade the shades look very 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 similar but it's hydrating and plumping brightening and smoothing okay so this is not going to be a mattifying concealer it would have been nice if the concealer was mattifying that way you know it can help kind of combat the glowiness on my face right now there is a little brush that came with it I will link it down below so you can see it. This will be perfect for blending the concealer in. We have two shades of blush here. We're gonna put the orange one on the right side and we'll put the pinkish one on the left side. I just hope the pinkish one looks good once it's blended in. I'll just blend it in with the same brush. The orange blush disappeared into my skin. Let's go in with the powder. We have the Say Air Set Radiant Loose Setting Powder. Oh my God. God, I am about to be the glowiest you have ever seen me. Like there are three shades of this setting powder. I can absolutely set my entire face with this. 
The color is not so ridiculous that it changes the tone of my base. It's matting down my face a little bit. There's a little products roll up right here on my uh -oh. face. And this is where I put the blush on. You can tell like right here, it's a little bit rolled up compared to this side, which doesn't have that. This is what we got. They have these Glow Sculpt single pan products. They look to me like highlighters with several different tones. And oh, they're really, really smooth. So I might maybe use this shade because it's nice and deep and beautiful. This is called Bronze Glow, but it also gives you a glow. It's given like a cushion type of product vibes. Okay, I don't have blush on. I don't know that I will go in with blush. Let's add a little bit of peach glow on top of it. It can give us a little bit more color. This is nice. It's making my cheekbone pop, but it's not giving that harsh shimmer look to the face that some other highlighters will do for you. Okay, you guys, so this is what my base is looking like. I'm gonna put the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish on it. Okay, now that my face is set, let me tell you a few things I noticed about having this base on for like an errand. First thing I noticed is that my under eyes have creased. Also, the concealer has actually slipped off my lower under eye, if you can see. Like in person, I looked up and I could tell like it's pulled in my lines. I also noticed that my smile lines when I was smiling because I was eating is like showing up a lot more. I also noticed that the peeling is still happening happening around certain parts of my face. I don't know if it's the product. Because I didn't use anything other than the same products, I feel like nothing should be rolling up on me at this moment, but it was rolling on me. I know that it looks good, and yes, I am here for the way my skin looks because, because my skin looks really, really gorgeous. Really nice, definitely something I would wear. But if it's a question of whether or not I would wear like a full face of dewy, glowy, hydrated, products I don't think I will like something has to be different for me I would definitely replace my primer from using the say gel to maybe using my pore eclipse primer the makeup forever mattifying primer I will also definitely go in first with a serumizer because for some odd reason I believe that the serumizer plus whatever primer I use helps my base stay in place and it does not move at all and then I would go in with the foundation a little bit bit of like a different concealer that's gonna stay in place and then I would go in with the the glow gel and the little highlighters because that's what they do they highlight the skin and make it a lot more glowy but not like crazy looking the glow sculpt that I just use is called bronze glow there are a few other shades that you can pick from the blushes I will stay away from them personally because they're not pigmented enough okay I'm going to try to fix this going back in with some of that setting powder to just see if it's gonna stay in place that being said my base looks really really good I am not upset at it and I will definitely wear the same products again certain products like the foundation I will We'll have to put it on top of a matte base the concealer i will definitely use these concealers with like the fenty mattifying foundation or any other foundations i have that are really super matte definitely a glowy concealer will help with that that way it doesn't suck the moisture and the life and the glow out of my face. I would not go in with a glowy concealer with a glowy everything only to pile a bunch of powder on it because it just it just defeats the purpose, right? Work smarter, not drive yourself crazy. But that is it for me showing you guys a full face of Say. Absolutely love the products all together. It looks good. It's just the wear of it is a little off. But I feel like the products will perform really, really nicely individually depending on your situation. If you have dry skin, you might definitely be able to get away with this. Like if even under here, my skin looks like I have filter on. It's hydrated, plump looking, gorgeous. Like even though I have like tiny little pimples on my skin, they still look good, right? Okay, let me know down below in the comments if you've tried anything from Say or how you like to layer your very glowy, radiant, uh, illuminating, hydrating base routine. Thank you so much for watching. Love you lots and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.